Welcome to the Diasensitized Solar Cell Objectives and Materials video. The purpose of this experiment is to familiarize the students with the assembly of a basic solar cell, and we are going to also cover how to characterize a solar cell, um, which we will then apply to our cell and see how it stacks up against the commercially available ones. Uh, as for our materials, uh, the, the heart of our solar cell is going to be the uh, ITO coated glass. So this is glass that's coated with a conductive layer, so an electrically conductive layer. The important part is that this is transparent so that the light can get through, right? Our solar cell needs to be able to receive light. So if we used a non-transparent material, then that would make it a lot more difficult. We also have a multimeter. The multimeter uh, will allow us to measure the resistance of the surface of the glass, of the coated glass, which will allow us to identify which side is conductive or not, because both sides of the glass are not conductive, only one is. We then have our ethanol. So the ethanol is a volatile organic solvent, which we use to clean off the surface of the uh, conductive glass. Um, we want to make sure that glass is as clean as possible and we also want to be very careful to handle the glass in such a way that we will not contaminate the surfaces. So grab it by the sides and the edges. Uh, imagine that it's like a delicate photograph or something that you don't want to uh, ruin. We also have a mortar and pestle which is used also in our biodiesel experiment. This is a, a bit of a larger one. We're going to use it eventually to grind up our berries. So we have a couple berries in there. There's two blueberries and a blackberry. Uh, you can also use raspberries, but never strawberries. They do not work for this. And this is what we're going to use to make the dye that is going to sensitize our solar cell. Um, we have our electrolyte, which is the iodide solution. So this stuff is not particularly harmful, although it does stain everything. So you have to be careful about getting it on your hands. This is where gloves are very handy. The white solution there is a titanium dioxide suspension. So this is what we're going to use to make the nanocrystalline titanium dioxide layer that is going to form the uh, actual solar absorbing part of our cell. Uh, we have some basic scotch tape. The scotch tape we will describe more in detail, but it's used to control the thickness of our coatings, our, our single coating, I mean, of titanium dioxide. We have a pure graphite pencil. So this is not the same as a regular pencil. This is specifically chosen because it is pure graphite. Uh, and then we have a glass stir rod, which is a basic laboratory uh, material. The last thing, but not least, is just a couple binder clips, which will be used at the very end to assemble the cell together, just clamping it 